Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to use torrents.com to download torrents. Also using uTorrent. First you're going to want to open up your Google Chrome or any internet browser. Unfortunately the 49ers lost. And to start downloading torrents, you're going to down or you're going to download uTorrent. And it's a really small thing called a BitTorrent client and it runs really fast. And so all you have to do is click download. And it'll be different depending on your system, but most of the time it's exactly the same. And for me, I already have it installed, so I'm going to discard it. But you would keep it. Um, double click it or whatever once it finishes downloading. And then install it as an application. And it's right here. I'm actually going to turn it on right now. Alright, so here we go. Once you have this installed, you're basically ready to start downloading. The best site for downloading torrents, especially free ones, because why pay for something that you're supposed to get for free, is torrents.com. Torrents with a Z. Alright, so here it is, .eu, because I'm pretty sure they got sued. And say you want to download, you could really download anything from this site. But say I wanted to download a book called 101 Foods. I'll just search it. Oh, here we go. Here's the book I was looking for. So in this top search, you really just can type in any keyword and usually it'll find it. And then your results show right here. And right here is where it shows how many seeds you have, the size of the file, when it was up the uploaded or edited and then it also shows how many seed or leachers so how many people are like downloading it which can affect download speeds but this is what you want to focus on these two um, usually the size of a file you'll get used to it but six millibytes is very small compared to say a movie which could be about a gigabyte and there are also other things that are way longer like audio is usually pretty long or pretty large files and can get up into the gigabyte range if you're downloading discographies. Um, this is really what you want to. Oops, this is what you want to look for. These two, six millibytes going at 500 and going with 559 Cs is going to download in about 10 seconds, depending on your connection, which is extremely fast. So I don't have this yet. I will click on it, and here we go. Torrents.com has given me all the links uh, where I can find this torrent and a lot of these sites are really good and really reliable some of them aren't great and some of them cost money but usually you look for big names Heat, The Pirate Bay, Kick-Ass Torrents, Bit Junkie. these are all really good sites so I'll click on The Pirate Bay because they usually have everything and here we go from here now that you have uTorrent you can click, you don't want to get this, you don't want to get a magnet file. You check, make sure the comments are good. If someone says it doesn't work, then avoid it and try to find a different one. And so from here, you click get torrent file. You want the torrent file. And you click on that, and Google Chrome, the download will come up down here. And all you have to do is click open. And if you have uTorrents open, then this should pop up and it informs you on what you have in your file and if you don't want certain things like say if you've already downloaded the torrent but lost a certain thing you just click off of it if you don't want it and this is basically all that's going to be downloading so you can see exactly what you're getting and here I'll click OK to start the download and this whole process should take really quickly here it shows when it was added whether it's downloading or not right now I'm in all the downloaded files but you could also look at all files completed ones that are active and seeding means your computer is in a way uploading oh there's our file going really fast compared to like an 85 millibyte file this is only six millibytes and it's got an insane amount of seeds 
And so, yeah, it's a pretty basic process. But seeding is really good because there's no way your torrents would download without other people's seeding, which means kind of re-uploading it and kind of sharing the wealth. But it will also slow down your internet connection while you're using it. So, it's kind of a, you have a trade-off. You want to help out your fellow torrenters and help out people like you. Or you just be selfish. Oh, well, dog's at the door. And here, you find your file completed. 101 foods that could save your life. Sounds very interesting. Oh, and the door opens. Okay. And so you right click it. It's probably the same on the Mac or on PC. It is the same. I have a PC. And then you click show in finder or show in folder. All right, here we're going to do show in finder. And then you find it. And it shows you your file. Here we go. Double click. Let's open it up. And then you have your free downloaded file, which would usually cost you a couple bucks. Some things you can download that cost thousands of dollars. So really, torrents are a lifesaver and really bring you stuff that you would never really be able to use. And yeah, that's about it. You can open it up from here. And that's how you do it.